we are continuing with Global Health Service. This is number 27. And today we are talking of health prevention. There is no point people running to hospitals trying to seek help when some of these things could have been prevented. We are starting the comparison also today. We are comparing two countries, a developed country and a developing nation. The developed country is Japan and the developing nation is Nigeria. The life expectancy in Japan is 84 years and the life expectancy in Nigeria is 52 years. That's 32 years extra for somebody who is born in Japan. And then somebody who stays in Nigeria dies 32 years earlier. There must be reasons for all this and that's what we refer to as the social determinants. One of them is social networking. In Japan, they work together, they cooperate, they do things. They help each other, there are things they do that has endeared them to the entire world and that helps them to stay longer. In Nigeria, there is less social networking. People working together to ensure that they can alleviate their suffering and their problems. There is universal insurance in Japan. Almost everybody has access to healthcare. So the healthcare delivery in Japan is very good. Whereas in Nigeria, there is no insurance. Nobody is taken care of. In fact, no hospitals. And where they are, very rare. The kind of drugs or medicine they give is so appalling. So this is why you have people dying earlier. You have high employment rate in Japan. A lot of their people are employed. When they come out of school, they get jobs, they work, they live longer, they are happier. In Nigeria, no employment. Unemployment is very high. The policy makers, instead of taking note and working on that, are busy wetting their pockets, pocketing the money they should have used in helping the people. So where there is no employment, where there is no job creation, where there is no skill acquisition among students, how do they live longer? They end up dying younger. Indeed, some of them organize themselves and start committing crimes because they are so frustrated that they will be thinking, what's the point living? The high unemployment rate there is a contributing factor as to why people die so early. Then there is good living environment in Japan, where people live, the environment is good, is well planned. I say bad living environment in Nigeria, where people live, in shanties, in places that people don't need to, no good water, nothing. So they suffer more and die earlier. You have low health disparity between the gender, between the classes, between the number of people in Japan. In Nigeria, you have uh, people cornering the wealth, taking the money into their pockets. So the health disparity is not even there because the wealthy people are the healthy people. They can afford to go abroad, they can afford to go elsewhere to treat themselves and they are few in number. Majority of the people in the country are suffering. They have no health care, nothing. So they die earlier. Then there's a the quality of safety in Japan. The safety environment is where people want to live. People want to live their life without anybody disturbing them. Live in a safe environment, do things, and the productivity is often very high because of that safe environment. See them producing a number of things. The cars produced in Japan alone is feeding the entire populace. They produce millions of cars and sell it to other developing countries. If you come to the United States, you have so many of their cars, all kinds. Whereas there is no safety in Nigeria. So how do people live there? In fact, the educators won't run away from them because they don't want to stay with the mediocre. They don't want to stay with 419ers. They don't want to stay with people who are stealing the people's money and siphoning the money and putting it abroad. No safety. He said you have kidnappers, people who want to kidnap people and do a lot of harm. So 
it is difficult to pray there because the honest people don't even find it easy to live there. These are ills that should be corrected. Once these things are corrected, you see people, a lot of people going back to develop that country. Nigeria has a lot of educated people. I can tell you that Nigeria has more PhDs than even Japan. So, but they are all over the world developing other countries. They can't go and develop their place. And that is why you see people dying so early because they are not doing well health-wise. And you see people living longer in Japan. Nigerians are very intelligent, but a lot of them are not given opportunities to operate even in their own countries. So you see them, they live in Japan, work there, contribute there, they live in US, contribute there, they live in Britain, all over the world. Whereas people in Japan find it hard to leave their own environment to contribute to the development of other countries. So they live longer, 84 years and more. Whereas in Nigeria, you live 52 years, the person is gone at the average. That's the life expectancy. We need to do more on these things. Policymakers need to do more in order for our people to live longer and contribute more to the GDP of the country and then allow people to live longer. That is the leadership. The leadership, so you have to help the country to develop and develop more so that people can live longer in even a developing nation. Thank you.